Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 9. This episode, we get some more drone footage, some good boars, and I begin my quest for a barra. Will I ever get one after 12 years of coming to the Territory? And what are the stakes if I don't get one? Tune in to see, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hey guys, just want to thank you all for watching and hitting our 20k mark and as a way of celebrating we have teamed up with some great companies to give back to you guys. We are giving you guys a chance to win this scope kindly donated from Zero Tech Positions. To win, you need to simply subscribe to our channel, follow Zero Tech on social media on Facebook or Instagram, comment done on this video and the winners will be picked from the comments on this video. This is open to Australian residents only and the links can be found below. Let's get into it. We had been doing so well on the first sun up, so we decided to get up again just before the first light and start the morning off with our tradition, a coffee. But these aren't just any coffee sachets, they are pre-loaded drip filters from Dog and Gun Coffee. Once we loaded up the food and snacks and hands, we were off in search for some morning boars. Yeah, so we just got up at sunrise again. And yeah, just cruising along and the dogs have floated off the edge of this swamp. The hands jumped off and pushed out a few hundred metres, only to get a smaller peak. We continued on driving for a while before finding a large lagoon. Honestly, it's hard to beat the beautiful sunrises like this on the plains in the mornings. The kids were nice and content strapped into the buggy and eating some of the banana cake we had made in the camp oven the day before. We continued on to the largest swamp we had been filming a fair bit this trip. We got to the edge of it and the dogs found a sow in the long grass and chased her out. We put up the drone to see what was around the swamp as it's too far to see with the naked eye. Sure enough there was a big mob but they were on the opposite side of the swamp making it near impossible to get to. So all I could do was get in close and get some footage of the pigs. There's some really good balls in the mob too. We decided to make our way around the edge anyway, thinking it might give them enough time to come back to the water again. We didn't find the big mob, but spotted a lone ball in the distance. So we stopped the buggy and I put the drone up to see if we could flush him out of the swamp towards us.
Um, so we're just trolling a bit of um, Born Australia pre-workout. We're going to call it Dust to Dawn. Um, this is just a troll back, uh, troll mix to see if we like it before we order more. Yeah, it's not too bad. Very a bit of a pick up. It's easier than having making having to make coffees everywhere. Yeah, stay tuned. Here you see more destruction than the pigs do to the swamp and why pest management is a very important part of the ecosystem up here and why we do our part to control the pest in this area in a safe and effective way ensuring each pig has taken down safely and humanely as choppers can't always get clean shots in thick timber nor can they pull up to ensure the animal is correctly dispatched. The day prior we went and made it onto the beach and so after seeing how beautiful the coast was and having a lower than average run we decided to pack up camp after the morning hunt and go to the coast. Hey guys, so this morning we went for a quick hunt, got a few little rubbish picks in that uh, big boar on the swamp and yeah we yeah we we're loving the beach yesterday afternoon and the pigs have been pretty quiet so we thought stuff it let's um head up to the beach and camp there for a few days and yeah dan um injured his knee so i wanted to do a bit of recovery and um yeah that's why he hasn't been able to do much stalking as he'd like to especially with his pups 303 so yeah we thought it's time to go to the beach for some r and r and yeah what we're probably going to stay here for a couple days. I'm going to do my barra challenge where I can't come back until I catch a barra. And yeah, we'll just um, hopefully move to a new area. Seems to pick quiet after the beach too. What happens if I catch a barra and you don't? Well, <laughs> I don't know. We have to think about that wager, I guess. If you catch one first before me. Yeah, well, it's more than I don't know. Well, maybe you just can't fish until like until I catch a barra. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Otherwise, I, if I don't catch a barra, I have to stay out and I can't come back to camp until I catch a barra. So yeah, it's pretty big stakes. I have to battle the mozzies. So yeah, we'll um, soon see how I go. But yeah, hopefully I get a good barra and we'll cook it up for dinner. We met our friends at the beach and what a magical spot it was. We set up our camp with ocean views from the bed in our tent. Once we had everything set up, we made our way to the water's edge to have a fish for my quest for a barra. Let's go fishing, eh? Set sail. Yeah. So it's the turn of the tide and it is coming in. So we should do pretty good. I've got to get a barrel, surely. Dan set up and it wasn't long till he started pulling in fish after fish with the kids. Oh, I was getting nervous up. that he was going to be the first to pull up a barra, so I got my line in the water and tried a few spots along the water's edge. The sun was setting and what a sight it was with the water eating the sun as it sets. What have you got dad? Oh a crab, it's going to get you. Oh it's a big fish hey. I'm going to have to stand up. He's a good one. Crab there. 
Is that what that? No, it's a uh, brim. Brim. Rightio, so Nat's Barra saga is continuing. We've um, come and seen some friends and we've gone to one of the most beautiful spots we've ever been to. And we're all ready. What's the outs, the lure our mate said and recommends to service us all? So hopefully yeah. it's time. Yeah, I'm trying surface now now the sunset. There I go. Right. Yeah. I'm not sure what happened, but the barra spat the lure and Dan turned the camera and either him or another barra hit it again. They must have knew I was desperate. Hang on, just slow down, slow down. Just take your, take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. No, just slow down. Pressure's on, big girl. Yeah. To say I was a little bit excited and a bit over yeah. the top was an understatement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 30 years old and coming up here for, I don't know, what, 12 years? My first decent barra. Yeah. What do you reckon? You gonna throw it back? Yeah. For good luck? For good luck, sake. Yep, definitely. We've got, what are them fish we got? I'm shows how much of a brim. fishing expert I am, but we've got a couple of good brim already. Look at this beauty. Oh, Rex Hunt, send him. So it was good luck I let this fella go, and luckily our friends that were there earlier had caught a large barra to give us for dinner because they knew my luck was fishing. And yeah, now nah, I couldn't be more happier. <laughs> Hopefully it's the start to many of this trip. We've got a couple of days at the beach, so yeah, I'm keen to keep getting in a few more. Yeah, we're gonna have a, we're having a couple of rest days because yeah, I've got a sore knee and I need to get over it. Yeah, so. right, yeah, guys, been another great day. So we cooked up the black brim Dan caught and the barra our mates caught and I used my favourite seasoning. I used fish or seasoning, all purpose seasoning and fried the fish in coconut oil. Dinner was amazing, then finished the night off with a run by the fire. Stick around as my quest for more barra isn't over yet and can Dan get a barra or is he the catfish king? I got up the next morning to fish on daylight before Nat and the kids got up to try and get a barra. I was sitting there fishing when all of a sudden something launched out of the water and gave me a fright. I thought it was a crocodile coming out as I'd seen one the day before. Cheeky bugger. He's giving me about 10 frights. <laughs> Beautiful sunrise. We think he was launching himself on the sides of the water to get the crabs and jellyfish we have been seeing moving around the edges during the day. And this was his way of cornering the food. Once the kids were up, we headed down the beach exploring and hunting for shells and looking at the other water inlets.
We can't thank our mates enough for letting us come to this magical spot. The coastline truly is amazing. We head back to camp to get ready for a fish for that afternoon. We set the tarp in the blow-up pool for the kids while we had a fish. Prawn. Innovation at its finest. If you check out Dan's hat. What do you got? Yeah, hat. Where am I doing? Great Northern Legionnaire's cap. Barra too? Barra. Yep, second barra. Is he gonna be dinner mate or are you gonna <laughs> Yeah. You nearly have to be dinner that one. Yeah. He swallowed that days off little too. Yeah. For that. Days off. Little soft vibes. Yeah right. Days off did the job. Oh nice work mate. Right. You better clean him now. Second barra. What do you get? Holy! He's a fighter! Are you gonna go grab him? We don't mind catching catfish as long as we're catching something. Holy, he's giving you a run for your money. Oh, Mum, I've got one too. Double hook up. Yeah. You did it. <laughs> There's dinner. Wow, what a video. The curse has been broken. Yeah. Get in there with mum, kiddo. Look at this beauty. Aaliyah, get in there with mum. Get in there with dinner. Look. Get in there with mum, look. Woo! Wow, we. Nice work, Dad. <laughs> Gotta be happy with that. Third barra. Third barra. Not Second gonna... barra for the afternoon. Is that dinner? Hell yeah. Alright, nice work. We cooked the fish up with some pasta for dinner and called it a night. Thanks guys, stick around for the next episode where we head to a new place and the big boars start rolling in. Thanks for watching and thanks very much to our supporters.
Thank you.